Uh, good afternoon, uh, ladies and gentlemen. Um, in the name of Jesus, I greet you and would like to thank the living God for this opportunity to share God's word with you. And uh, what I will be sharing with you this afternoon is the subject of the presence of the living God and just basically having confidence in the Most High God. We will be making reference to the few scriptures in the Bible and also making reference to King David, you know, just uh, to look at him uh, as one person who had confidence in God. So allow me to go through the word of God with you uh, from the book of uh, uh, Psalm 27. Uh, Psalm 27 from verse 1 reads, The Lord is my light and my salvation. Whom shall I fear? The Lord is the stronghold of my life. Whom shall I dread? When the wicked came upon me to devour my flesh, and my enemies and foes stumbled and fell, though an army and camps around me, my heart will not fear. Though a war breaks out against me, I will keep my trust. So from what, from what we have right here, we can tell uh, that David had confidence in the living God. He knew the very God in whom he trusted. And there are other scriptures within the Bible that you can re make reference to that point out to the confidence that God, that I mean, David had in the living God. We can ref make reference to Psalm 23, you know, where David says, the Lord is my shepherd. I shall not be in want. You know, he makes me lie down in green pastures. He leads me beside quiet waters. You know, he restores my soul. He guides me along right paths for his namesake. So those are some of the scriptures that we can point, that point out to the confidence that uh, David had in the living God. And then as we move along, we read uh, from verse 4, where in David says, One thing I have asked of the Lord, this is what I desire. You know, this is a choice that David has made. That is to dwell in the house of the living God all the days of his life. All the days, you know, not missing a day outside of the presence of the living God. And his point, he points out the reason why he wants to spend time in the presence of the living God. He says to gaze on the beauty of the Lord and to seek him in his temple. Other translations say, to, 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 to meditate in his temple. So as believers, I believe that uh, we need to make time, you know, time to go into the presence of the living God, just to worship him, just to fall in love with him, just to tell him how great he is to us, you know, wh how much he means uh, uh, to our lives, uh, you know, just to go there into his presence, to wait on him with praise and worship. You know, we need to make that time. It is imperative that we do so. And then David goes on to say that to to to. To, to meditate in his temple, you know, just to go there, meditate, get some perspective around life, get some perspective around kingdom matters as a child of the living God. Because why the word says that uh, we should seek the kingdom and its righteousness. We need to understand how our God operates. So only in the presence of the living God do we get to understand how he operates. You know, and then David goes on to say, for in the day of trouble, he will hide me in his shelter. Trouble is inevitable. We all face troubles. But then when trouble, trouble strikes, we need to understand as to whom we should go to. Who is our shelter? And David says of the living God, he is my hiding place. You know, in Psalm 91, he says, he who dwells in the shelter of the Most High will abide in the shadow of the Almighty. I say of the Lord is my refuge and my fortress, my God in whom I trust. So that is the confidence that uh, uh, David uh, had in the living God. He says he will call, conceal me under the cover of his tent. He will set me high upon a rock. And I look at the rock, the rock symbolizes strength. And we used to sing, sing back in the days that build your house on the rock. So it is important in these days uh, to understand as a child of God as to where your house has been built. He says, move verse 6, then my head will be held high above my enemies around me. Sec uh, at his tabernacle, I will offer sacrifices with shouts of joy. I will sing and make music to the Lord. You know, in the presence of the living God, we gain perspective. We get to understand things. We get to see things differently only in the presence of the living God. So it is important that as children of God, we must make it a habit to go into the presence of the living God every single day. So with that said, Pazalwani, let me say, 
Let us go on and search for the presence of the living God. And allow me to close in prayer. Father, in the name of Jesus, we thank you that, Lord, you are not far away from us and you're just a prayer away. You said in your word, when we call on you, you will answer and show us great and unsearchable things, things that we haven't had, heard of. So we end up with as your children to continue seeking your face. And we thank you that as we continue to seek your face, Mudimuntate, you will show yourself strong on our behalf. In the mighty name of Jesus, we thank you, Lord. Amen.